Yeah, it's very flowy. It just gives like vacation hair. Scratch mix. YouTube, it's your girl Kiana Marie and I'm back with another video so I was busy you know moving out from college for the summer came back home just to spend my um summer break today we have a wig from the company gorgeous hair we have another synthetic wig I did promise you guys more synthetic wig content y'all asked I delivered so this is their long for one brush stylist easy signature um everyday unit it is 32 inches it is a natural black t-part wig and it is in their premium fiber it is a breathable mesh cap i know you guys remember the last um premium style fiber wig that i did from them this is a special type of fiber that you know it doesn't tangle it is a lot better quality than other synthetic wigs and it can last a longer time so right here i'm just customizing the front of the wig you know it is a t-part but there is enough space to start plucking at the front I do this with every single wig that I have. T-parts can be customizable too. There is enough lay space for you to pluck it minimally and do what you have to do. He is starting to come together. Y'all see that? So I'm just parting mini sections going in with my tweezers. It is a lot more difficult to pluck a synthetic wig just because it's not like human hair where the knots are slipping out like real easy. So do be wary of that. You want to get you a good pair of tweezers great pair of tweezers but what i do like about this wig the middle part already comes pre-parted and it is extremely long as you guys can see i'm using my brush to brush it out i'm not getting any snags or anything the wig um the texture of it is kind of like wavy and loose it looks really nice when it's on so after we finish customizing this i'm gonna show you guys the rest of the wig After I finish one side, I'm just gonna go ahead and move to the next. It does look like I'm going really fast and like it's easy, but I promise y'all, I was not going as fast as you think. Look at how easy that brush went straight through the wig. Also, I'm parting it pretty easily and I'm not getting any tangles. Now, as I said, this wig is 32 inches. Usually with a long synthetic wig, you could breathe in that. That's already tangled. So this is what the wig looked like when I was finished plucking. I'm showing you guys the length, trying to get it all on camera because this wig is long, especially because I'm short. And then we have the breathable cap. So another great thing about this wig, this wig could take heat. It will not melt if you put heat on it. It can take up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have my hot comb on the highest setting and I'm just going through it, sleeking it down. Now, when you are putting heat on a synthetic wig, however it cools is exactly how it'll stay. So make sure it cools in the position that you want it to. This is a common misconception people have. Ugh, I just stuttered. Wow. That's a common misconception people have about synthetic wigs. So I made sure it stayed exactly how it was when it was cooled. And I'm also using my wax stick. You can use product on these wigs. Don't be afraid to use some products on these wigs. So I parted out some edges just because I wanted to go for kind of a glueless look today. I don't know why. I've just been feeling glueless wigs. So this is what the wig is looking like on my head. Now we haven't put any foundation on the actual lace yet, so just be wary. I am gonna use my Ruby Kisses cream foundation just cause that's kind of a really thick foundation. And since you can't bleach the knots on a synthetic wig, I recommend a thick or a full coverage foundation for when you're using it. I didn't have to use a lot of products since this is a T-part wig, just needed the bare minimum. And then after I put that on, I'm just going to pop it right back on my head. I had to go ahead and move these, you know, my pre-parted edges out the way because I was about to go and cut my ear tabs. This wig is very, very long. I don't think the camera's doing it justice to show how long it is. So I had to make sure I moved them out the way so that I didn't cut them in the process. Cutting the ear tabs wasn't really hard. It's not like there's a whole bunch of lace at the sides to work with. So you just cut right where your ear is. That's it. You don't have to worry about cutting any excess hair off or nothing. And then I'm just going to go and pull that down on my head. Now you can see that it fits real nice. Skin tone match on point. Now we are going to go ahead and start cutting that lace. Okay, since this is a T-part, I didn't have any like specific cutting mechanism. I did do the zigzag method, but I didn't do sections like I usually do. I kind of just cut all the way down on both sides just because it's a T-part. I don't have to worry about a whole bunch of lace or how to do this or that. I literally just cut the lace off and then got ready to spray it down. That's about it. Oh yes, I also recommend spray, like a high hold spray instead of glue on your synthetic wigs. Makes them last 10 times longer. But right here, I did notice kind of a white cast after I cut. 
So I'm just going to go ahead in with a darker foundation and blend that to my skin as best as possible. Y'all see how long that hair is? I'm clipping it up so I can actually spray down the lace because th this is a lot of hair. I'm taking my Eben Active Spray and I'm spraying that over the edges just to separate them at first. Then I'm doing the ear tabs. It didn't really take a lot of spray or effort since the wig was already fitted to my head from when I cut it. Taking some spray, I'm not using no glue in this whole install, none at all. And then after I do that, I am going to take my edge band and I'm just gonna wrap that around the hair, tie it real snug just so that it actually melts, you know, cause I don't know the wait time for how long it takes synthetic hair to melt. So I'm just doing it for exactly 10 minutes. Loving myself, look at me. I didn't think I would ever be doing videos like this on synthetic wigs, but I realized synthetic wigs are not all that bad. You just have to know how to maintain them. So we are just going to take off that band look at that i love it <laughs> gonna brush the hair back because some of it did get stuck in the spray i am also going to use my hot comb to kind of separate it from the front so that way it doesn't come down in my face so much and it gives that like framing look instead of just coming right down into my eye as i said before however synthetic hair cools that is exactly how it's going to stay so you see me trying to hold it so that way it cools the way that i want it to and now we are getting to the fun part perfecting the install i'm going to take my scissors Cut them edges. I right, listen, I didn't have no technique for cutting them. I literally just cut them. The only difficult part was laying them down. Now, since this is not human hair, you are going to need to wait more for your product to dry just to settle in because human hair, it dries extremely quick when there's a spray. But synthetic hair, you have to wait and you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Remember that this is fiber, this is not human hair. So after that one was done, going again with my hot comb, just because I feel like I kept sticking it to my forehead and I didn't like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. I hope you guys noticed the fact that I'm giving you guys 360 views. I am playing with the hair. I'm doing all types of stuff with the hair and this hair is not tangling. It's not tangling. And then the final product, all I'm going to do is just take some water, brush the hair out because I found it better. And that is pretty much it for the install. This is the 32 inch long four unit from the One Brush Stylist Collection by Gorgeous Hair. It is less than $100 after you use my discount code, but you can get it for just $89 in the description box below. This is their premium style fiber, which means that basically it's very hard for it to tangle. As you can see, it moves and it mimics human hair very well. I'm sorry, I'm just turning off my hot comb. You guys saw me using the hot comb all throughout it. The hot comb is on literally, it's like, highest setting right now you can use up to i think 350 degrees of heat so pretty well you can pluck it i love the length on this wig especially the curls if you just want a quick wig for the summer that kind of looks like a long curly wig i highly recommend this and another thing with gorgeous hair with their one brush stylus units they have a shine to them it's a very natural look so it won't give you that like weird plastic look you know what i'm talking about with other synthetic wigs they look like plastic whenever light hits them this one light hits it nothing it moves it's very flowy let me see if i can give you guys like a back view yeah it's very flowy it just gives like vacation hair it's really cute i really like the fact that it comes pre-parted you don't have to look to find the part this one is a t part i will be showcasing you guys some other ones so please stay tuned so if you wear this wig as like an everyday wig it can last you about six months which is pretty good for a synthetic wig if you just wear it occasionally it can last you over a year i have synthetic wigs that i've had for like over a year now they last pretty well so it all depends on how you treat your synthetic wigs this one does not tangle as much as others you guys know the long synthetic wigs they tangle a lot this one doesn't and for 32 inches i was actually really nervous to try this length because i was like oh my gosh what if it tangles but thankfully it didn't you can style this wig in different ways you just have to be careful of the track because it is a t-part so the claw clip i'm gonna put it up just to show you guys how long it is this is a long wig for reference i am five foot two so it's probably gonna look like extremely long on me on me this looks like a 40 inch because i'm really short but it is just 32 inches and once again it is on sale right now for 89 dollars when you use my code in the description box below so make sure you guys check out more of gorgeous hair's premium fiber um units 
I love them. I have another one in blonde and I will be showcasing you some others. So stay tuned. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check out the description box below as well as more things from Gorgeous Hair. Love you. Bye.